What's up, y'all? It's Today here. Welcome to Most Requested Live. And um, Romeo invited me to do one of these Ask Anything things. So, here I am, doing an Ask Anything chat. All right, I'm outside, you know, being one with nature. Um, all right, you sent the questions. I'm gonna answer them. Here we go. Edward from Oak Leaf says, what was it like to work with Jasmine Guy? She's so dope, she's so cool, she's so fly, super chill. Just amazing. I love her. I'm obsessed. For some reason, when I when I first met her, I thought she was gonna talk like Whitley, but then I was like, oh wait, you're not really Whitley. Anyway, it was a great time. Um, Liz, Liz from, I don't know how to say that. Mom, how do you say that? Tippa, is it B silent or something? I don't know. Liz from somewhere, okay, that I can't pronounce. If you could change one thing in the world, anything you want, what would you change? By the way, I love you. I love you too. Um, one thing in the world I would change. Well, I mean, that's a very loaded question because I could say a lot of things, but I would definitely, I would, um, I would hope that people would be more compassionate and open-minded and loving towards each other and people would finally realize that we're all stuck on this earth together and we can't go anywhere so we might as well just you know I don't know about you but if I get mad at the world I can't really escape it so we might as well just work together love each other and you know do what we do okay next is Javon from Philadelphia and they say have you seen straight out of Compton what was your thoughts about it who's your favorite person from MDU, uh, NWA um yes I have seen straight out of Compton it was extremely dope I love the fact that not only was it very entertaining and everything like that but it also was very I think socially re relevant for everything that's going on I think um, in our criminal justice system in our world right now so it kind of shed lights on a lot of things that I think were important which was really cool while also making it very interesting and having music and everything like that and um, and my favorite person from NWA <sighs> that's hard to say but I will say Ice Cube because for some reason Ice Cube reminds me so much of my big brother like he, him, my big brother and Ice Cube should be best friends. Like, they're the same. Um, Chelsea from Paris says, skirt or pants? Pants, definitely. Um, that's an awesome name that I'm going to mispronounce, and I'm sorry. Bagelund. Bad, what? Bagelodin. Bagelodin? Bagel. You see that? Bagelodin from Memphis. Anyway, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Everybody says Zendaya. I hate it. Um, Nas hit me up on the phone and said, what you waiting on? <laughs> Savannah from St. John says, favorite dance that you've ever done? Favorite dance I've ever done? I think, um, some of the dances I did on Dancing with the Stars when I was on that were some of my favorites I've ever done just because I never thought that I could do them, nor did I think I ever would be ballroom dancing at any point in my life, so that was kind of cool. Um, what do you use? Oh, Amber from England says, what do you use? Like, contour and highlighter, and you're so beautiful, I love you so much. Well, honestly, I just use different, like, concealers and foundations and stuff for my contour and stuff, so light, darker, warm it up, warm it up. Anyway, um, so for highlight, I like to use, um, sometimes I like to use eyeshadows. Um, there's like really nice eyeshadow in the nudes palette from, um, from CoverGirl and like, it's like really shimmer. I actually use it today and I use it on here and here and right here. Yes. Okay. Um, what else? Um, Charmark from London says, what is... This, when is something new video dropping? <gasps> Soon. Um, Rochelle from Niagara Falls says, Hey Zendaya, I want to know, would you ever be considering going to college and what would you take? P.S. You slay my life. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Um, if I were to go to college, which I absolutely do want to go to college, um, I want to, right now, I want to, you know, get this money while I can. Um, and while my career is still thriving, which is something that I'm very thankful for, but then I want to be able to go to school for what I want to do and probably something completely not related to the industry whatsoever. So I'll probably go for like child psychology or something like that, which is stuff I'm passionate about. 
Alright. Um, Melissa from the Netherlands, would you ever collaborate with Fifth Harmony and what are your thoughts on them? I love them. They're amazing. They're fierce. They're fabulous. They're sweet girls. Yes. Um, Isabel from Arizona says, what was your favorite color? That's weird. Like it's asking me what was my favorite color. Well, my favorite color used to be when I was little was pink. And then it became blue. And then now it's just like black, I think, because black matches with everything. Can't go wrong with black. All right. Deborah from Brooklyn. I love you so much. I wanted you to know what are your tips on keeping a clean face and skincare routine? Some alternatives for people who don't have the same skin type as you. Um, one thing I do know is take your makeup off before you go to bed. That is the number one. No matter what kind of skin you have, you have to do that. It will save you from tons of breakouts and tons of problems. Boom. One. Two. Um, one person actually told me this randomly, which is actually super like the realest thing I've ever heard, is switch up your um like your 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 skincare routines every couple of months because like anything you use the same thing over and over again, all like your skin's gonna get used to it and it's not gonna work anymore. So switch it up. Um uh, Mackie from North Aurora says, Are you excited about being cast as Spider Man? <laughs> Am I? Am I really? Or am I not? We don't know. Okay, keep moving. Um, with an, which, uh, Jenny from Zurich, is that right? I'm gonna be so stupid if that's wrong. Which actress would you love to work with in a movie or a TV show? Um, that's a tough question. Um, Angelina Jolie would be one. people. I have a long list, so that's a hard one to answer. Um, Damola from Nigeria says, um, when was the first time you got in trouble and what did you do? By the way, I love you so much. Um, I don't know if the first time I got in trouble. I do remember one time I was at my grandparents' house for Thanksgiving and I was like, what, how old was I? I was like two. I remember that very clearly. That's interesting. I must have been like three or four. Anyway. Um, and I guess I was acting a fool, temper tantrums, and my mom and dad do not play that. So I was at my grandparents' house, and as soon as I started throwing a fit, my dad swooped me up and took me home. Drove me all the way back home, and I was crying the whole way. But never had a temper tantrum again. Boom. Um... Someone from Nicaragua, oh, Allison from Nicaragua, sorry, they had it split up weird, um, says, Zendaya, hi, I love you and I admire you a lot, I am your fan forever, my question for you is, what do you love most in the world and why? I love most in the world, um, what do I love most in the world? I love, um, I love being able to, like, do what I do and be able to inspire people and make the world a better place all at the same time. Like I'm able to do what I genuinely love to do and use that as a platform to do some really, really great things in the world. So shout out to anyone who ever comes up to me and says thank you for what I do because thank you for what you do because without you I wouldn't be doing what I do and you know, you get it. Anyway. Oh dang, I lost my place. Um. Lost my place. Hold on. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Says Zipporah from West Point. I have four brothers and sisters. They're all older than me and they all have kids. My oldest nephew is 25. My youngest is about to be born. Um, what else? Um, um Zeraner. 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 I'm going to go with that. Sorry, I'm sorry for everyone who I'm mispronouncing because I'm sorry. Um, what it, from Germany says, what is your inspiration when you're feeling down or having a bad day? Um, I would say my number one inspiration is people in my family. They motivate me so much. My little nieces and nephews, I do a lot of what I do because of them to make them happy and to make them, you know what I mean, uh, set some goals for themselves as they grow up. Um, and I would also say, like, I don't like to call them fans because they're more than that. My, my extended friends and family out there, 
Um, because they support me and they love me and they take care of me. Um, Karen from New Zealand says, Would you rather swim in a cage around sharks or jump out of a plane with a parachute? Um, let me just explain something to you. I don't like doing fun things, A, and I definitely don't like doing fun things to, to some people that could possibly end your life. So, um, I'm good with just staying in my bed watching Netflix. So, uh, you guys have fun with that swim with dolphins, jumping out of planes thing, and I'm just gonna chill and uh, watch Grey's Anatomy, okay? Um, Lauren from Orange Park says, how do you and your fans, these swaggers, inspire you? P.S. I love you. I love you too. Um, they inspire me because, um, well, I mean, they inspire me because they just, they, they support me so much and they put so much into me that I want to just keep, give all them all that love and everything back to them just for everything that they do for me. Because, I mean, without them, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be in this place that I'm in. So, yeah, it's all them. Wayne from San Francisco says, when are we going to get married? Did you hire the planner? Because I thought you hired the planner. I, I thought we already set a date. Call me. We'll, we'll talk about this. Um, Shiku from Bellevue says, what's something new you have, you've learned this, this year? I've learned mostly um, for, that you have to stick with your guns and you have to trust yourself because your gut, which is I call my Olivia Pope gut, if anyone had watched the scandal, is so important and so real. So never let anybody talk to you out of what you think is right. <sighs> Gemma from Birmingham says, I think you and Odell are amazing together. If you're not together, I can see it working out. He's a great guy. Thanks. Um, Tori from Sydney says, how was life like when, wait, well, hold on. Tori from Sydney says, how was life like at school when you started to become famous? Well, when I got on my first show, I'd already left regular school. So it was seventh grade and I already left seventh grade and went to go start um, homeschool on set. So nothing really changed. Um, Avery from Baltimore says, what is your favorite memory from working on a TV show or a movie? Um, I think I made a lot of great memories working on Casey Undercover because we have such an amazing cast. Like I'm so lucky to be on a cast with people that really genuinely love each other, like each other, want to be together, want to work together, want to see each other shine. Like it's just a great set to be on. Um, Adriana from Oxford says, if you had $1 million and had to spend all of it in one day, what would you spend it on? Um, what would I spend it on? Well, I would probably give some of it to charity, obviously. Because, I mean, that's just what you're supposed to do. Um, so I'd give some of it to charity. I would, I would buy a big house for my family to live in. And we would all live together and be happy. Yeah. Um... What is your favorite memory from working on a TV show or movie? Um, oh, that's it. That's it. So thank you so much um, to everyone who sent in their questions and also to Romeo um, to giving me this opportunity to answer all your questions. And this is really, really cool. So thank you guys. And I love you. And thank you to everyone at Most Requested Live. You guys are amazing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Go have a good day.